You know, I've been waiting for this for about four months, ever since I started talking to Brett Holden about his team booby trap here. We flew in, we just got in at noon. We're supposed to leave tomorrow, but it looks like the weather's gonna deteriorate. So Brett said, hey man, let's jump on and get out there tonight so we can get all day tomorrow instead of having to run the 100 miles out there tomorrow morning. So here we are, we're leaving the marina and uh, we might even get down there in time to get a bite tonight. If not, we're gonna do a little nighttime tuna fishing. Pretty excited about it, but to be, to be fishing with this team that has really, they have set the bar for all sword fishing. They had a couple trips last year, catching 20, even 30 swordfish in a trip. And it's just, it's been amazing the numbers they've been posting. I really hope we can get on that bite. I'm pretty sure I have faith in these guys. Everybody knows what they're doing and it's, I'm just, um, I'm, I'm proud to be a part of this. My life is consumed with fishing. Fishing in the ocean. Fishing in the rivers. Fishing in the lakes. I'm obsessed with fishing. Unbelievable. The farm ponds in Tennessee. The trout streams of the Rocky Mountains. Panama. The Bahamas. My backyard. Multi-species. Multi-tackle. Pursue my passion. My obsession. I can't stop thinking about I'm it. I'm obsessed with fishing. What a fish! If we hurry, we can make a drop today. Would y'all like to go catch some grouper and tilefish on the Beastmaster? Yes, sir. No, I would really like to do some uh, deep dropping for well, grouper and tilefish. Well, the tilefish put it dark. Let's go. Let's go. I want three species. That's my goal. Come back up with three different species. And the Beastmaster. I've got the three baits on. A fish comes up and grabs the first bait, and he's swimming around there with that, creating excitement. More fish coming in the area to figure out what he's feeding on. Another one grabs it, he's swimming away. They swim opposite directions. They're kind of hooking themselves. The Beastmaster going to 851 feet. I got my counter here for a meat fisherman. You want to come out and, and get your limit of grouper or snapper? Yellow edge grouper. I see why they call him a yellow edge. That's the best eating grouper in the Gulf of Mexico. Tile fish. Your first tile fish? My first tile fish. And you've got the state record. Yes. This is, you know, to be in, in 800, 900 feet of water to come out here and not have to hand crank them and, and, have, and to have this nice little compact reel and to be able to catch these nice grouper and all these eating fish out of almost a thousand feet of water, it's really handy. It's, I would pretty much say it's the ultimate toy. And easy enough that my daughter can use it. Haley's gonna have fun with this one. You know, another thing that reel's great for is a kite reel. For what? A kite reel, for kite fishing. Kite, kite. You're all set up, you know, one reel for all of it. I can fish 60 on it here, and I can fish 60 on the kite. Got one on. Carter's tight. Oh, I got a good one. Nice. I got me a good one. I got me a good one. Oh, look at my kitty. Look at the screen. If I get him up far enough, his eyes are gonna pop out and his stomach's gonna come up and then I'll be all right. But and then I'm gonna eat him. Gonna eat him. Whew. This is hard work. Uh, let me, I'm gonna push it up a little bit. Brett, I think I got the one we were looking for. Good. I mean, I'm having a little fun. He's 
stopping the drag. Woo! Tripled up! Look at this ring here. Oh. Look at that. Oh, I need a picture. Let's see. Man, right here with this sun going down. Oh, tripled up on the Beastmaster. Look at that. Hey, Carter, could I get you, let's see. Oh, there we go. Good. Was the Beastmaster in the photos? Yes. All right, you ready? One. Two. Yeah! The best. Wow. Now that's a drop. Let's do another one just like it. Very nice, Carter. Thank you. What a great day, man. I think it's time for a little dinner. No, actually, let's do one more drop. <laughs> when the obsession of Carter Andrews continues. Oh, hold on, you mean you want me to put the Stella in? Yeah, we need to fish the Stella. Who's fishing with a Stella for swordfish? It hasn't been done, let's do it, you know. Unbelievable. 1,500 feet of water. Please join us online. Visit the Obsession Facebook and Instagram pages. For special offers and more on this program. Shimano's SWX concept, power, rigidity, Toughness, drag performance, and water resistance. Absolute power right here, baby. To give you retrieving power, strength, and durability. There he is. X-Ship, cranking power. On the Stella. X-Shield, extreme water resistance in the harshest <laughs> yeah! conditions. X-Tough drag, ultimate smoothness and power to move big fish. The all-new Stella, show your power. Sing to me, Stella. The award-winning Z Performance line from CV raises the bar. It's not just fast. It's not just fuel efficient. The CVZ is the entire package. It offers the perfect balance, safe, predictable handling during hard turns and at high speed. And most importantly, the Z stays on plane at lower speed so it can comfortably handle anything Mother Nature can dish out. Experience the exhilarating ride of the CVZ. Schedule a sea trial today. Mercury engine test. Corrosion protection you can rely on. It's good to have mercury behind you. Mercury engine test. Smooth, quiet power you can rely on. It's good to have mercury behind you. The obsession of Carter Andrews is powered by Shimano. Yozuri, engineered to catch. CV Boats, lead the way. And by Mercury Marine, number one on the water. First morning. This is the rig that was loaded with bait last night. Just littered with black fin. Giant black fin. Oh, it's a huge black fin. That's a big black fin tuna. Yeah, that's a giant. Unfortunately, the black fin are gone. Or they've gone deep, we can't catch them. So like I said, we're back to trolling. We're just gonna do this for another hour or so, and then go do what we came here to do. What booby trap does best? Sword fishing. Sword fishing. Not happening here. It's not happening here. I think we should go and attack the swordfish. The five second bite. The five second bite. Yes, we're gonna find the fish. With that light tackle, we don't wanna keep it in the water too long, bouncing around, letting it scope up on us, getting a bunch of, a bunch of scope in the line. So we'll try to find the fish, drop right on the fish. Oh, hold on, you mean light tackle? You mean you want me to put the Stella in? 
Yeah, we need to fish the Stella. <laughs> yeah. No, it's gonna it's gonna be a challenge. But uh, it hasn't been done. Let's do it. You know, who's who's fishing with a Stella for swordfish? Well, we are. And I got a feeling when people <laughs> see that this is gonna work, that there's gonna be a lot of that going on because a lot of the sports taken out of this fish with all the big heavy gear and stuff. And you know, it's the most incredible fish in the world. You know, well, everything I bought pretty brought is pretty light tackle, from the Stellas to the Tac 25s, and the biggest thing I brought was the 50. Everything in here is light for a swordfish. Uh -huh. You know, depending on the day and depending on the fish's attitude, uh, we fought one here, right here where we're going. We fought one for 23 hours on a 50. My 14-year-old nephew fought him for 18 hours. We took the rod away from him right after daylight the next day. Um, he was his knees were literally bleeding on the inside from his elbows rubbing on his knees. And now you tell me. Yeah, that's now we, you tell. We hook me. something like that on the Stella. You know, that's just, let's just hope we stay in the 100, 200 pound range today. Let's get a 50, 60 pounder. I'd be tickled to death. Let's start that Stella out right. So you're marking a fish in that, and you're talking about dropping on that fish and getting a bite in under a minute. Yes. How, how are you setting that up with 1,500 feet out to be able to drop that on it? We've got a, we call the squid, the booby trap squid sled. It's a window weight, the wire on the top, it hooks hook to hook. So the hook on top of the window weight hooks to the hook on the bait. As soon as that hits the bottom, it releases and you're there. So we got about five or six, seven pounds of weight ripping straight down on top of these you. fish. These swords see it ripping down, they follow it, and hopefully boom, we're whack. You know, you guys have really made a lot of noise in the sword fishing world. You also have the state record, is that right? Yes, we actually, last year we caught 14 fish that would have exceeded the state record from the year before. And you're releasing these fish? We like to eat one every now and then, but we try to release every one of them that look like they're in healthy shape. I don't know whether to be excited or nervous about this. 30 pound braid, Stella 20,000. Hold on, how deep am I going? This is gonna be about around 1,500 right 1,500, here. I'm, getting, I'm getting tired already. There he is, there he is, there he is. There he is. Oh, there's your bite, there's your bite. Drop it, drop it. He's on, he's on. All right, hold up. Is he there? If it is a sword, he's coming up. Let him come on up. Carter is tight on a daytime sword on a Shimano Stella. I don't know that it's been done before. Day deep dropping for swordfish 1,500 feet with a spinning reel. That's pretty cool. I mean, I don't want to get stuck in trying to fight a big tug of war with this 30 pound in this outfit, but we'll see. Let's take our time, let break get the leader and see what this is. Had nine bites and nine drops. 10 bites and nine drops. I'm getting, I'm getting kind of close. But I think this is a little one too. Yeah, he didn't act like he was a whole lot. But like I said, Carter, they're all the same size on the flag. <laughs> this is true. We'll get a big one. He's running. He's on top, right there, he's jumping. He's a monster. <laughs> <laughs> he's charging the boat. Oh boy. <laughs> that is a swordfish on a Stella. So we're gonna try to get a picture of him too. You're gonna hold him, I'm gonna hold the Stella, the rod, all right? All right. If we can. All right. Keep snapping, get in there. Tight if you need to, Stella in it. All right, let's get. Let me put him in front of the Stella there. Look how beautiful he is. All right. Let's get her back in the there water. There he goes. Come on. Go. There she goes. That was the fish for the spinning rod. Perfect. Congratulations. Thank you. Probably the first daytime swordfish that... you ever caught on a spinning Thank reel. You. Thank you. Nice work. Not exactly a monster, but sweet. Didn't have to work too it's, hard it's for it. It's been done. It's been done. Now it's been done. Now it's been done. Nice one. Good job, Brad. 
when the obsession of Carter Andrews continues. Wow. He's heavier than he looks. He's heavy. One, two, three. Inside you, there's an outside you. A you that finds your dinner by finding your dinner's dinner. A you that isn't afraid to pick a fight with something that has a sword for a nose. This is for that you. The following is brought to you by Yo Tsuri. Fish the best. Alright. Bump it back. Alright. There you go, I saw him. That was a nice, nice bite there. Brad, this one's yours. You ready for him? No. Huh? No. Now this is gonna be a nice one. You get him. Right here, Jeff. He's being fin he's being finicky already. Should have ate. He should have ate already. There he is. Eat, eat. And he ate. Tight. Go, go, go. Nice one. Good job, Brad. Carter is tight. Brett fed that fish perfectly. If somebody's gonna hook one for me, may as well be the master. Yeah, this fish is probably gonna be between 100 and 2, probably. The way he thumped it, can't really ever tell, but that was a nice thump. He's coming up for sure, man. Isn't he? Look at this. Yeah, that's a good sign. The faster they come up, the bigger they are. He's, yeah, he's probably gonna jump for you. Here's the leader. Bump it back. Come on back. Real, 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 real. Go, go, go. Yeah, it's a nice one. Really nice one. He's not even swimming, is he? I can't tell yet. I can see his side. He's on his side. He looks wrapped. He's wrapped? Looks like it. That's what happened that yeah, last he's run. Wrapped. Huh? That's what happened that last run. Big All fish right. too, man. Oh, foul hook. foul hook. I wanted to release this one. Okay, back up a little bit. He's done. So did that pop out and rehook him? See where it was wrapped around him up there? Uh-huh. So the hook came out and rehooked him. It was in his mouth. Yeah. I think I'm good. It's a nice fish, Carter. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice fish. We would have liked to have released this fish. The hook looks like come out of his mouth. Hooked him in his anal fin there and Drowned him. So it's he is a shame. all taped up from the head going back, right? Yeah, yeah he was. A, it's a it's a great 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 eating fish, so he won't get wasted. Thank you guys. Nice work, buddy. Wow. He's heavier than he looks. Yeah. He's heavy. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Woo! Wow. You want to take it out? Very nice fish, Carter. Wow. Congratulations. Nice job. Andrew. Thank you. Good job, brother. Look at that. Nice work. Yeah, that's a shame that the hook pulled out and hooked him back there and drowned him. But. Huh? On stand up. Yes, sir. Very nice work, dude. Nice job. Man. Thank you, guys. I'm telling you right now, I love that Delica 50. That's nice. That's sweet. Yeah, we that whole started. setup with the Therese rod, 60 pound braid, and it's just light. It's easy. Get around. Nice fish. Look at the size of the eyes of this thing. This is what's yeah. just amazing. Look at that. Oh, heck yes. That fish is bigger than you think he is, brother. Huh? That fish is 80 inches long. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Booby trap! 80 incher, 270. 270? Yeah. That's what I came. 265, 275 right in there. Texas sword fishing, man. That's why I'm here, was for that, to fill the obsession. I've, I've been thinking about this. I've been on the phone with Brett 
three or four times a week since March, right? Yes, sir. Outstanding. You guys are, y'all are unbelievable what you do, and you do it really, really well. Well, thank you, Carter. I'm mean, glad to have y'all. This was exciting for us. Yeah, buddy. These are these are definitely elusive ones. That's. I mean, the most incredible fish in the world, right here. Y'all look at me. When the obsession continues. You should see the rod just do like this. The eight. There he is. Two. Tight. Go. Got him. Nice fish. It's a nice fish. Wow. After this message. Please join us online. Visit the Obsession Facebook and Instagram pages. For special offers and more on this program. This is why we are obsessed. On the Yuzuri, baby! It's the Mag Darter, man! The Crystal 3D Shrimp. Here we go! There he is! Big Bull! Big Bull! Love that popper in the side of his mouth. Look at oh, this fish. Crush that Yozuri. You know, I'm a huge believer in this Yozuri pink. I'm telling you, this is the fluorocarbon of all fluorocarbon. Skipping across the surface, that Yozuri. There he is, nice bite. Oh my gosh, look at him. Yeah, baby, Yozuri. I don't go fishing without him. Mercury engine test. Speed and acceleration you can rely on. It's good to have Mercury behind you. Toughness you can rely on. It's good to have Mercury behind you. Shimano's SWX concept. Power, rigidity, toughness, drag performance, and water resistance. Absolute power right here, baby! To give you retrieving power, strength, and durability. There he is. X-Ship, cranking power. On the Stella. X-Shield, extreme water resistance <laughs> in the harshest yeah! conditions. Oh! X-Tough Drag, ultimate smoothness and power to move big fish. The all-new Stella. Show your power. Sing to me, Stella. The obsession of Carter Andrews is brought to you by Yeti Coolers. Built for the wild. Ray Marine. Don't just go fishing, go hunting. Underwater with Ray Marine. And by Power Pro. There him? he is, that's him. All right, drop it. Close the bail. Yeah. Just let it sit. You should see the rod just do like this V8. That was definitely him. Yeah. Bump it back, Jeff. There he is. That's him. Tight, go. Got him. Go. Got him. Okay. Woo. Okay. <laughs> Woo. Absolute power right here, baby. Nice, Unbelievable. 1,500 feet of water. <laughs> Mudda sick on the Stella. I I hope he's not as big as the last one. That was great. Feeding that fish at fifteen hundred feet of water, I just don't get it. I just don't get it, man. Carter is tight on the Stella again. Nice work, Carter. Thank you, Brett. That was a good feed. Yeah, perfect feed. I'm learning from the best. Daytime sword fishing, 1,500 feet of water with my Stella. I couldn't be any happier. We got maybe yesterday the first one ever Swordfish daytime dropping on a Stella with a little puppy. Let's see what we got this time. It's amazing to think you can do it. I mean, you want to talk about fishing light tackle. I'm fishing a spinning rod for swords. My 30 pound Power Pro 
1500 feet of water it is so sensitive with this rod you could see every time he whacked the bait it was perfect it's almost exaggerated with this outfit keep on coming baby you're making it easy for me now swimming up all right let's slow up here it is everything's right here there he is Got nice color. fish watch the leader behind you you're good right there nice fish it's a nice fish wow wow look at the colors on this fish right now we'll just grab his bill right here let's open the door open the door yeah go ahead and just grab the leader and, and take it over there does, in this case does this no it doesn't you just have to hold it want help oh. hook out there he goes there's a release we just released him oh yeah he's got no problems See you, buddy. Going down. Nice job, man. Man, no good, more feet. Good stuff. Thank you. That was great. Unbelievable. Perfect. That was a big one on that, on the Stella. Thank you, guys. That's crazy. I love it. Congratulations. Thank you. What a great day, man. Great end of the trip. Big deal. Thank you, man. Very nice, man. Thank you.